children, today we're a month of obesity too. The sequ sequel, and who doesn't love a good sequel? Uh, I'm your host, Mr. Cluckingston, and uh, let's get. So uh, before we start, I wanted to introduce you guys to something I like to call recipes. Uh, I know, uh, it's cheating. Uh, most of my videos are improvised, but recipes are a great way to show stuff off, like a, look at that great picture of what we're about to bake. But, um, this is what we're doing today, and I will be keeping these all in a file called the Cluckingston Files. Now, who doesn't love a good, uh, play on words? Which, I guess that won't be a play on words, but... So, uh, here is... The first month of obesity's recipe, if you needed that. I know, it's very detailed. Uh, the, the last part needs to be scribbled out. That, that was disgusting. Remember, kids, uh, kill that cow. But this is what we're going to be doing today, and I don't want to show you too much. So I'll, I'll just let you stare at that counter. Isn't that a beautiful counter? Uh, I'll just focus in on that chicken. I, I spent hours drawing that, uh, so, uh, I guess we should probably get cooking. That That's why you're here. So, uh, for today's dish, we are going to be making mixed vegetables because everyone needs a side tray. So for this, you're going to need this wonderful broth. Um, uh, it's not wonderful. It, it smells like dog food. Uh, just Mix a cup of water and two bouillon cubes of your choice. We're using ham today. I, I greatly regret it just because of the smell. Uh, then you're going to need three can three different vegetables in a can or more, depending on how many people. So I got sliced carrots, green beans, and whole kernel corn. Now the essential part of this is a can opener because look at these green beans you're a college kid and uh you need to open these but you don't have a can opener uh these great can openers can found be anywhere uh you just have to not be lazy and get up and get them uh i know that sounds like a lot of work and no one likes work um but do it Okay, so the first step, really, is you gotta drain these because they're filled of juice! Who doesn't love good old juice? Um, it, it's a great thing that fuels everyone, but it, it'll be terrible in this. I mean, we don't want to add anything to this crap. So, uh, I'm going to go empty these off camera. And do this because I hate using a can opener and I don't want to spend hours here doing it in front of you. So, uh, let's go do that. So, uh, we have, um, all drained and, uh, the idiot can one didn't want to come off. So, now, the third step is to pour them into this great big glorious hole. Bowl! And I'm going to start now. This will be a hard process because, uh, it's canned food. But as a college student, you shouldn't care. I hope you're a college student doing this. Or, I hope you're not a real person with emotions doing this. Because my, uh, recipes are pretty crap, uh. I made sure that uh, I had a direct way to a place where I could throw up because of this crappy recipe. So, uh, you're initially... Gonna wanna stir this up. Make sure that everything is equally... And if you see some water on the bottom, that's okay because of how great this recipe is it's not please help but um mix it together 
Uh, this isn't a Marina Joyce video, by the way. Don't actually call the cops. Mix it all together so everything is equally distributed. Now you take out the thing they put on dog food, or if you're using chicken, uh, top ramen, the bop ramen seasoning. Yeah, kill a chicken. Still pushing that. In this case, we killed a pig. It's ham bouillon. But, um, pour it over. Now, if there's water, those uh, delicious vegetables should just eat that up. Now you're going to want to mix it again. Now, this is a great recipe. If you have kids, they'll just... Don't feed this to your kids. Just don't. Don't put them through the suffering that you went through to make this. Now you want to make sure that all your fruit vegetables, well, yeah, vegetables, I'm not including any tomato in here, are covered in that beautiful broth you made. That will increase the flavor. Now, we are basically done. So, we now move on to tasting, but first, we add the recipe to the clucking stem files. So, our clucking stem files currently have two recipes. The clucking stem files. It's a great thing. I can keep everything organized with it. <sighs> All the terrible recipes. Now I guess we should get to our tasting corner. So uh, we get back to uh, our testing corner. Who doesn't love a good testing corner? <sighs> Please send help. Sorry, am I not being obvious enough? Do I need to twirl in front of the camera? Sorry, I don't have bruises in my arms for it, but, um... Uh, as we recommended it. So, as we saw last time, this is a mask, but... You didn't see this. This is a safety precaution. So, if this tastes bad, this will hopefully save me. Terrible thing, this thing. So, uh... Let's try some. Uh, gotta get some of those carrots. That corn, those green beans. No? That's bad, as I originally thought. It's basically just salted vegetables. Uh, the ham added nut. Uh, oh. Oh. No. That that's all I have to say for it. no. The clucking stem files have been tainted by it. No. This is terrible. Never try this and. No! So, uh, that, that cuts out, uh, Month of Obesity 2. It's been fun clucking with you. Haha. <laughs> See you next weekend.